All right, so for the past week, for the past week, I haven't done anything. God, I just can't do this. I have an idea. Over here is this pile of junk that I still haven't cleaned. I think that's it. I need, to, I need to put you guys up more. Now we're rocking and rolling. All right guys, real quick. For the past two weeks, I've done nothing. I haven't followed any sort of routine. I've probably just done nothing, honestly, but sleep and work. This is like my second day off in like two and a half weeks, uh, which is cool. I've just accomplished nothing. I've made money at work, that's about it, and slept. Um, it just doesn't really feel good, which kind of irritates me. It kind of makes me like mad at myself. Like. I want to do all these things like I want to change my routine like I want to do better but yet I still you know go back to my routine that I've had for years and I guess that's like a form of like self-sabotage I guess in a way for me but anyways I'm not really gonna beat myself up about it there's a big difference between beating yourself up about something and actually changing um, I've actually learned that the hard way so I'm gonna clean up this freaking pile over here all right so I gotta carry this huge basket down to the laundromat at my apartment complex. Uh, it's a little stretch. All right guys, so obviously, I made it down here to the laundromat. I'm here, we've made it. The long little walk, I'm winded. Realized, forgot my laundry card. So now I gotta walk all the way back upstairs and go get it. I'm just gonna throw all of my laundry in and then come back down and start. I got the card. What? No way. You gotta be kidding. Let's just hope it works. Let's like open this. Hopefully it like resets itself. Putting some good energy out there. Come on. Should I put the card back in? Or should I wait? Let's try this one more time. <gasps> oh snap. Yes, it worked. See, that's all it took. Some positive energy. Right, go ahead and start this guy too. No way, man. Let's just give it a minute. No. Oh, why is this happening? Oh, wait. I think we're good. No. Look, there's cameras in here. They're probably going to, if they ever watch it, they're going to be like, dude, what is this guy doing? I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get this stupid washing machine to freaking work. This has got to be a joke. Guess we're going in this one. All right, I just switched it. Oh, my God. Trying to keep it under control here, guys. Trying to keep it under control. Now I'm standing here trying to get the second one to work. It's not working, and at the same time, I have this heater blasting right on my head, like burning my head up. Oh. It's working, guys. Sweet. Thank you, God. Yo, that was kind of crazy, man. I almost thought that the card was messed up. And oh my gosh. I almost thought the card was messed up and I wasn't going to be able to get what I need. Oh, look. It's Josh. She just pulled up. Well, guys. The roommate already got Little Caesars. So I'm going to run downstairs and see if these guys down here will give me a ride if I buy them a pizza. Let's see. Uh, you got like <laughs> 30 minutes, okay. <laughs> Look, 
there's a little dog again. Don't talk for a sec. I'm trying to get the dog. Holler at the dog. Nah, don't do it. There he is. I want him to look. You know, it's really the things like carrying my laundry all the way down here, my car not working, just the little bit of struggle you have doing your laundry when you don't actually have a washer and dryer in the place that you actually live. So it kind of just makes you grateful when you do have those things. Like it makes you appreciate the things once you get them. Like if you were to get, you know, for instance, let's say I'm recording on my iPhone right now. Let's say I got like top of the notch camera right off the, right out of the gate. I wouldn't appreciate it. I wouldn't know how to use it to the, to the best of its ability. You know, using something like this lets you, you know, progress into the future and it's something that you can understand and appreciate the way it works because you've, you've grown into that. Like my dad's always telling me that. He's like, you're not going to appreciate it if you had it. You wouldn't even understand how it works. You wouldn't know how to use it. And I understand that. Like, I just go back to thinking when I had a washer and dryer in my apartment, I really didn't think anything of it. But now that I'm walking down here and I'm paying for, you know, to use the laundry mat at my apartment complex, it just really slows you down and lets you be grateful for the things that you have. I mean, I'm still thankful I get to wash my clothes and everything, but it would be nice if I didn't have to walk down here and see the air sign on the washer like 10 times, but hey, go work with what you got. I just want you to know I'm one hand handedly carrying this basket in order to get this video and I'm tapping out right now. All right guys, now it's time to put all of the laundry away that I just did. Got the, sh the bedding over here, need to put that up or it's just gonna end up over here. With the rest of the freaking crap I have piled. So, let's get to it. Before I put this book away, I want to talk about it. All right, guys. So this book, this book right here is called The Path Between Us. And uh, it's pretty good. Uh, this is like the Enneagram Theory. I don't know if you guys have ever heard Enneagram. I think that's how you say it. Uh, that's what this book is about. It goes into detail about all of that. I wanted to read this book because um, it talks about different personality traits. Um, it talks about how different personalities hand, uh, react to stress, um, react in different environments, how they react to, how they react in relationships, whether that be, you know, intimate or just friendships, etc. Uh, I just wanted to understand people better. So, um, and I still want to understand people better and I still want to, you know, continue on that journey. So this is actually the first book uh, I've ever read front to back in my entire life so i'm pretty proud of myself um but yeah it has a lot of great knowledge so if you want to understand people better and you want to grow your relationships and you want to have better relationships with people uh this is you know i would say a pretty good read um and it has a lot of good knowledge uh, packed inside for sure um i haven't been reading two books a week like i said i was gonna do but uh i definitely want to resume reading books um i felt i got a lot of great stuff from this well, about halfway through uh, with this book, it's crushing it, Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, it's pretty awesome, I'm about halfway through with it. Uh, I find it to be really motivational. There's a lot of stories in there about people, creators um, on YouTube, Snapchat, just people that have uh, started from scratch and become successful. So I find a lot of like inspiration in this book here. Um, I'll let you guys know how it, how it finishes. I'm sure it'll be great, it's Gary Vaynerchuk. I don't know if you guys know who Gary Vee is, but if you don't, you should know who you are. I've pretty much got everything cleaned up. I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Ugh, hooray. It's cold. Ugh. Got my ice cream? Yeah, so, it's cold. Shouldn't went out there in shorts. Anyways. Mmm, huh. mmm. Sensitive teeth. I just struggled through. God, look at me, I'm still winded for walking up the freaking stairs. 
Anyways, guess I should update you guys on why I'm staying in my friend's dining room. Simple and quick story. Oh God, why I do it again? Idiot. One second. Sorry, I might talk on my mouth full. Anyways, who, who wants to see that? I'm gonna update you guys on why I'm living in my friend's dining room for the past like year and a half. So, simple and quick story. I messed up in Dallas, made some wrong decisions, lost my apartment, lost my job, first and foremost, and was pretty much backed into a corner and was forced to move here. Um, you know, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it at all. I've already like, you know, completely gone through that phase, um, which is never good. You never wanna beat yourself up about something or feel bad for yourself, because that's just pity. What you wanna do is just, you know, face it head on and change but anyways so that landed me here you know i'm thankful that my friend allowed me to come into his apartment and pretty much live in his dining room um and i just feel like a little bit of me just feels like this is god's way of like i don't know humbling me like teaching me how to be thankful because it just really slowed me down in life because I hate to say it, but back in Dallas, maybe I wasn't I wasn't thankful for what I had. I wasn't grateful. Maybe that's something I had to learn and I'm still learning. And I hope to continue to learn um, through my journey in life. But anyways, yeah, that is the long, short, long and short. <laughs> that is the story of me moving to Oklahoma in my friend's dining room. So sad, I know. Anyway, let's get on with life. Hey!